Hello, and welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Vince Penman. And I'm Allison Topperheim. Today we're looking at how aftermarket parts are used to pimp some rides. Ever wonder how the lowriders get their cars hopping? I more often wonder why they do. Looks like an uncomfortable commute. Ouch. The important components are the hydraulic pumps and cylinders, powered by electric motors that draw their current from up to 14 batteries. The entire setup is typically stashed away in the trunk. The hopping movement is controlled by switches on the dashboard. Making these retrofits to old cars requires lowriders to put a lot of holes in the old car frame and strengthen it in several places. The good news is that most of these cars come from scrapyards for a few hundred dollars. Recycle and reuse, people. Aftermarket wheels can actually make your car accelerate faster and stop shorter. The folks at HRE Performance Wheels have studied the science of speed and given us a lesson in wheel engineering. The rotational inertia is best thought of as the distribution of mass around the wheel's axis of rotation. The closer the mass is to the center of the wheel hub, the less force is needed to spin it. Notice that the wheels are designed to minimize the mass overall, and particularly the mass at the perimeter of the wheel. Not only does lower rotational inertia help the car accelerate, it can actually make the car stop faster as well. HRE uses Creo Elements Pro to design wheels that minimize the mass and the wheel overall while maintaining the necessary strength. The makers of Creo Elements Pro, the same software that HRE uses to design their wheels, have written an article for designers titled, Five Things You Should Know About 3D CAD Software. It's free to download at ptc.com slash go slash five things. Center Tuning delivered a new level of power to the Audi TT RS with their aftermarket program. The program starts the changes in the appearance, including carbon fiber bodywork and a spoiler on the trunk lid. But then, the team at Center started having some real fun. They added aftermarket performance parts like a power converter, a new valve controlled exhaust system linked to an intercooler, and a sports air filter. Then they revisited the engine electronics. With that, the 2.5 liter Center Audi TT went from a ticket tempting 335 horsepower to an unbelievable 430 horsepower turbocharged unit. Many aftermarket enthusiasts increase their fuel efficiency by swapping out fuel-hungry stock parts. The most common changes are those that reduce the air restrictions in the car, notably at the air filter intake and at the exhaust stage. A free-flowing aftermarket intake kit allows the engine to breathe easier, making it work less to suck air into the combustion chambers of the engine. Aftermarket exhaust systems and mufflers greatly reduce back pressure increasing the efficiency of the engine and therefore increasing the fuel economy. And fuel economy helps you pick up girls. Everybody knows that. Part of the fun of pimping your ride is finding inexpensive parts and the first visit for most people is the local junkyard. But sometimes that part just can't be found. Then aftermarket engineering turns into custom fabrication. All serious fabricators have some ability to manufacture and weld in place simple components on site. But if you're thinking about taking up this hobby, be prepared that you're likely going to have to bash some metal. Because using wood, well, that's for Cub Scouts. This is it for the product design show this week. Next week, we take a look at high-tech electronics.